Hi, I'm Garrett Ford from Easy Care. And I'm Curtis Burns with Polyflex Horseshoes. And today we're going to talk to you about two new products we're about to introduce, the Easy Shoe Flex and the Easy Boot Stratus. We've been asked a lot about what this shoe is really all about. And the inspiration of it really all started with a trip that I um, took to South America, uh, to Mexico and Colombia in particular. Uh, with Alex Gutierrez um, to uh, work with IFA, International Farriers Academy. And I went with them on different trips down there to help some of the local people learn better skills and their uh, farrier work. And it's been really re rewarding um, uh, teaching these people and seeing them be able to provide for their families better and take better care of their horses. And everybody's lives uh, improve from it. It's pretty amazing how it spider webs out. But it, while we were there, we went down to the city and took some rides with the local uh, taxis, uh, horse taxis, and we realized just how much they were struggling with the shoeing uh, and their options for these horses. Um, because they're on asphalt all the time, the, sh the feet, the shoes were wearing out, um, they were really struggling. And I was like, what can I do to try to create something that would be cost effective and maybe be able to uh, help these guys out and be safer on the roads for them as well. So I got home, I talked to Garrett about it, I made a phone call to him and said, what do you think? And he said, let's do it. So we started on a bunch of different prototypes um, and played around with it and it's been really amazing. Um, it's taken us two and a half years to get to the point where we're about ready to launch this thing. but the successes that we've had in different areas has been pretty amazing and uh, you can maybe just go on about some of the things that we've accomplished in, in, right. the, um, in the endurance world. Well one of the things that happened right away with uh, when Curtis was down in South America he put it on a, um, a horse that was working a lot on cobblestones and um, pavement and that horse uh, used him a full cycle and um, there was almost enough on that shoe where um, they could reset them and Previous to that, those horses were going through steel very quick. And what happens with the shoe, because it's such a wide web shoe, there's a lot more material, so your wear is greater, and also the wear of the urethane um, is really good anyway. So the, the other place we've seen a lot of um, success is in the endurance world. Um, we had a, a good customer over in Thailand, and we shipped some of the early prototypes to Thailand, and they won a couple 160K races in Thailand and we've also had some of the best um, US riders um, get a hold of the prototypes and do super well in both 50 and 100 mile races in the US. So what we're seeing is that you know we're, we're still because the shoe has some flexibility and you get the urethane that's absorbing shock this is a really good natural product for um, distance horses especially when they're working on hard ground. And you know, I think you know one of the other places we're going to see it is um, be a great product for the police um, horses. Um, we've had a lot of um, police horses using the Easy Care boots because of the grip. Um, so I think that's going to be a really natural um, place for them. And I think therapeutically, what do you think, Curtis? Are going to probably be a lot of great therapeutic uses. There, there are. We've already uh, seen that uh, in some cases. We've had them on some horses and done really well with them. Uh, one of the things that uh, we've kind of ended up going on to is using uh, or uh, adding the bar to them, uh, heart bar, and uh, just to be able to give more support and also be able to you know do a pour in pad in them and they'll stay in there well. Um, in some cases where we th thought that. Uh, we wanted something even more rigid and more stable. Um, Garrett went ahead and had him make us a few plates that have the metal um, bar actually put in it, and it's amazing just how stiff this product is. And um, I, I honestly, uh, I'm kind of excited to just see where all this thing kind of travels to because I've had him on everything from some show jumpers, which um, kind of wasn't the design that you know you would think would go on that type of horse but uh, because of the wide web it's very protective for them and I think it's uh, helped them uh, in soundness issues. The other is is um, um, polo horses. I even had a few polo horses that were lame and they were struggling with and we put them on for a few shoeings to give them some more protection and again you know they, they went sound so I, I think there's going to be a lot of options a lot of different disciplines that are going to find use for them um, and you know I just think it's just going to be one of those things that little bit by little bit we're going to learn where the shoe takes itself. 
uh, just through trial and error. Yep. Exactly. So when they get out, you know, I think there's a lot of natural um, uses right off the bat. And um, first year, we'll see a lot more um, feedback from farriers and horse hunters around the country. And I think we're going to see good things from it. All right, we're getting close to launch of the Easy Shoe Flex. When the Easy Shoe Flex comes to market, we're going to come to market in five sizes. We have an aught, a one, a two, a three, and a four. This kind of shows um, the four and the aught side by side. The unique thing about um, the shoes when they do come to market is these are going to be traced and cut to shape. And each shoe has roughly, you can reduce each shoe by roughly um, 16 millimeters or 8 millimeters on each side. So there's a lot of variation between sizes and we can use um, the same shoe for the front and hind patterns by removing um, material from the sides. So again, uh, we're just uh, going over some of the inserts that we've come up with for the new Easy Shoe that uh, we're just about to launch the flex uh, these are the metal insert cores and i'm just going to go over with you a little bit the difference in them this here is um, our toe clip version and you can see that here actually in the shoe uh, then we have our side clips and again you can see that here in the shoe and then we have a full bar uh, shoe as well and this is also going to be available both in the toe clip and the side clips as well uh, kind of one of the unique things about uh, the insert in this shoe is that it's uh, spring steel and there's uh, some true benefits to this over uh, the existing products out there is that it eliminates a lot of the bowing and cupping that these shoes, uh, these synthetic shoes will do um, over time. A lot of them uh, have a tendency of wanting to kind of bow in and sometimes can create sole pressure on the horses. Uh, because of the spring steel it always wants to go back to where it came from and we're able to uh, maintain a nice flat surface for that horse to be able to stand on and work on throughout the shoeing cycle. So uh, I think that's a huge advantage over the products that are out there and also uh, the, the slots that we put in here for the nails have been a big uh, improvement over some of the other things that are, out, that are out there. A lot of times you're very limited on your nail placement on synthetic shoes. What we were trying to do is we were trying to make this to where we had a lot of options here. Because of the way that we made this, it's easily modified up to at least eight millimeters per side. So that's an overall, we could take 16 millimeters off of this entire width of the shoe. And that's a, that's a, a lot of uh, variation in them. Another kind of cool feature, if we can see it or not, is that um, we have we created a little bit of a texture on the uh, hoof contact side that helps it stay uh, in place while we're nailing it initially, but we kept it clear uh, where the nail slots are. So as you place this on there, you can actually see through and see your white line. And what I personally do is I'll make a, a mark on there and then I'll come back and pre-drill those holes and um, before I go over to nail them on. And that's a kind of a cool feature that I think is really helpful in the application of these shoes. Another nice feature about the shoes is that we've pre-bent both the side clips and the toe, toe clips to fit um, the toe and um, side angles of a hoof. They can still be adjusted slightly. Um, you can use a hammer or you can use a large pair of channel locks to adjust uh, the angles. The other thing you can do is um, we recommend the clips stay on the shoe. So the, the main reason we've put a substantial clip on the shoe is that when using a synthetic, the majority of times your traction between the synthetic and the ground is more than the synthetic and the hoof. So what happens is over time, your hoof has a tendency to move forward and migrate forward on the shoe. What the clips do is hold the foot in place and it puts a lot less stress on the nails. All right, uh, again, back to the, to the clips and the nailing is, um, I felt it was really important to have a, a good solid substantial clip on these shoes. Uh, and also the slots that we put in here that, uh, hold the nails really good and securely. And because of that, between the secured nail that we have and the clips, it puts a lot less stress on the hoof wall, um, uh, the nails do. And uh, we're able to have a, a much better clinch long term 
and the more solid that is and the lo longer it stays uh, throughout the shoeing cycle, um, the healthier the foot's going to be at the end of the shoeing cycle. Okay, one other aspect to this that I think is really important is that the fact that when you're seating these nails that the actual head of the nail is coming up and meeting that metal which uh, has got a defining spot that where it can, how far it can travel into this urethane. Um, what will happen with uh, just not having the proper insert in here to help hold that is one, the flexing here uh, can break down this and each footfall and dirt and everything like that can actually drive that nail further up and you're going to end up with clinches that are starting to come up and uh, become long and again start deg degrading the foot. Um, what I did here is uh, I brought this over here to where I can show the nail being put in and uh, how it's going to, you know, meet up. And like I said, it comes to it can't go any further. And you, the in any shoe that you make a, a handmade shoe or a factory made shoe, the better nail. Uh, uh, head that you have the more secure the nails are and a lot of times the better the, uh, the integrity of the foot is going to be at the end of the shoeing cycle and that's the real difference between a lot of different brands that are out there and even metal shoes is the how well the shoes are stamped and they're stamped in most cases for a very particular nail and what we tried to do here is that uh, a, a combo head or an e head uh, works really well in these shoes and uh, that's kind of what we're wanting to recommend. So um, back to the, you know, the importance of the clips and uh, the nailing slots that we designed in this shoe. Um, I went out and um, actually we, we brought a blank with us that doesn't have the insert in it. And we wanted to do that to show the difference and um, how well uh, this plate helps the nail stay secure in the foot and the shoe. And so here's what here's one uh, that again the one without the plate in it, and you can take that and you can see how much it's able to bend. So you imagine every footfall that that horse is hitting and that he's on sticky terrain or whatever, and that's constantly working and uh, fighting the foot. Um, with this here shoe, um, now we have both the clip that are helping secure that to stay the foot to where, where it's uh, staying with the shoe, and also you can see the difference in the stability in that uh, nail. Um, it's just night and day the difference over over what we have without that plate. Honestly one of the things that I'm the most excited about is for uh, me a lot of the synthetic shoes that have been out there that were nailable generally always had to be a bar because they just didn't have enough stability to be able to not be flexing and tearing the nails loose from the walls and degrading the hoof wall. And I think we've solved that problem with this metal insert that we have. Um, so th to, for the first time having a metal option that is uh, an open heeled, you know, more traditional type of shoe and can be modified a little bit. It can be thinned up if need be. Um, it can be shaped to both the front and hind shoe. Uh, the shoe just has a, an awful lot of options that I don't think have really been available in other synthetic shoes. So uh, I think that's going to really help us stand apart from the other uh, products that are out there on the market. So one of the things that we find when we introduce new products is when you have a lot of varieties, we have a toe clip version, side clips, hard bar, open heel, is that guys start to look at it and they're like, I don't have that much space in my truck. So one of the nice things about this product, the only difference between these two products is um, this mold actually has a slide where we can mold it with or without the heart bar. But the nice thing a guy can do is they can just stock their truck with this version, the heart bar. And you can see where um, there's actually a mold line where you can come in and just trim this. That way you can keep half the inventory in your vehicle, still have both options. You can carry the toe clip, side clip version, and cut down on your inventory. So today was great uh, having Garrett visit us here in Wellington, Florida at uh, Polyflex Horseshoe Headquarters. And um, we had a great time going out in the field today, doing a little testing, uh, trying to put some things together to uh, give, give you guys some information about the new products that are coming along. And yep. Well, we hope you guys will enjoy the new products. They'll be out soon, and uh, thanks for listening.